Okay, so if you haven't seen the other videos about doing the individual transformations, you really need to go watch this first. But basically we're going to talk about how we can take this base parabola that has a vertex at 0, 0, and has a point over 1, up 1, over 1, up 1, and fills it in like this. So it has a vertex of 0, 0, and an axis of symmetry axis of symmetry. So we're going to talk about how what we can do is take this general form of the equation and then use that in the graph to say perhaps do something like this. Okay. Plus two. Okay. So really looking at these is just recognizing the transformations and which ones we're looking at. Okay. So we learned previously that the plus 2 is going to shift. Shift? I don't know what that is. There we go. Much better. Shift up 2. We know that this, the negative 5, is a little bit backwards than what we would think it would be. It's going to shift right 5. And then this is going to stretch up three. Okay? That's what I'm doing here. Just throw a bunch of things on there. Okay. So my standard graph or my vertex starts here at zero. It's gonna shift up two, up two. It's gonna shift up two. <laughs> And then it's going to shift right five. One, two, three, four, five. So this is my new vertex. My new vertex is at two, five, shift, sorry, five, two. Five over two. So it's shifted up two and over five. So it's over there at five, two. Now it's stretched up three. So instead of going over one, up one, it's going to go over one, up one, two, three. Again, instead of going over one, up one, it's going to go over one, up one, two, and three. And then fill it in like this. So that is my new graph. So without ever plotting a single thing, I can actually draw that in. So I have the vertex here. And then I have an axis of symmetry. Axis O symmetry of X equals 5. Okay, so that's the basic strategy you're going to follow in putting all these together. The, I think the trickiest part, or one of the trickier parts, is remembering that that negative sign actually means we shift to the right, and then just applying the combinations therefore, or there to, or whatever. So I'm going to give you some to play with and see what she gets. We're having fun over here, apparently. So we've got Y, no, what's that? Um, let's try, let's try negative 2, x plus 4 squared. And then I'll give you, um, let me give you a hold on. Okay, so here's a bunch of problems to go try to solve. So, pause the video, go try to work these on your own, and see if you can come up with anything that makes sense. Okay? Now, assuming you've done that, let's go ahead and check this out. Okay? So, looking at this one here, I'm going to say, okay, it's a plus 4, so that means I'm actually going to go the opposite direction I think I should go. So, I'm going to go left, 4, and then this means I'm stretched down... Two. Okay, so I've got my graph with my standard whatever stuff going on. Okay, I've got starting here at the vertex, I'm going to go left four, one, two, three, four. And I'm not going up because there's nothing over here, so it's just going to stay there on the, uh, on the x axis. Now instead of going over one, up one, I'm going to go over one, down two. Instead of going over one, up one, I'm going to go over one, down two. And then I'm going to pull that together. And it's got a weird looking. 
near, 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 like that. And I have an axis of symmetry at x equals negative 4, and my vertex is negative 4, 0. Excellent. Alright, so let's try the next one. Okay, so this tells me that it's going to be flipped, but otherwise the exact same. This tells me I'm going to be shifted right three, and this one tells me over here that I'm going to be shifted down one. So. I don't really know what I might need. I'll try that. All right, so normally I'm here at the vertex, but I'm going to shift it to the right. One, two, three. I'm going to shift it down. One. So I've got this. Three, down, one. And then instead of going over one, up one, I'm flipped. So I go over one, down one. And again, being flipped, instead of going over one, up one, it's over one, down one. So like that. Chick chunk and put your tongue. So that's my vertex. Negative or three, negative one. My axis is symmetry. Is it x equals three? This is none so bad, right? Could be worse. It will be <laughs> eventually for other things. Alright. Okay, so here there's nothing going on inside the squared term, so I just have to pay attention to what is going on. This is going to be stretched up 3. The negative 2 at the end means it's going to be um, shifted down 2. So, I don't know what I need. Okay. So normally my vertex is here. It's shifted down two. All right, so that's my new vertex. Now instead of going over one, up one, it goes over one, up one, two, three. Instead of going over one, up one, it's over one, up one, two, three. And this is my new fancy parabola. Good job, good job. And I'm happy. Um, axis of symmetry is x equals zero, and my new vertex is at zero, negative two. And pretty much all they can do from here on out is, um, they could make you complete the square, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to. <laughs> they could make you complete the square to solve these, but in general, just a case of recognizing exactly what needs to go on and remembering, remembering what all the different things do.